Welcome back to Life As It Should Be. I'm Colin Cowie and today we're talking about ice, the diamond in your cocktail. So I know it's only frozen water, but I get really excited about it. I look for balance in my life, so I only drink water when the sun is up and I only drink cocktails when the sun is down. But in wanting to make it a great experience, it's all about having the right ice cube to match the right cocktail. We've all had a, a great quality liquor and you pour it into a glass with small ice cubes. Within five minutes, the glass and your cocktail is completely diluted. So we want to make sure that you have the right ice melt ratio. So in other words, you want the ice to melt as slowly as possible and to keep your cocktail as cold as possible. But I also like a few different shapes because there are different types of ice for different cocktails. Some we add fruit and vegetables and herbs to, some we just take the purest approach and it's just frozen water. I like the idea of using these rubber molds, you can pretty much find them anywhere, they're easy to put in the freezer. I also like to put them in those shoe boxes, which I'll show you how we do. Now if I'm drinking a tequila, a good quality sipping tequila, I like to sometimes serve that in a champagne glass. And I'll, in this particular instance, I put lemongrass in there. So I'm going to put a lemongrass ice infusion with my tequila. That's also a great way to serve a cocktail. And then we have these beautiful spheres. You can have a look over here. These are made from this ice mold here. It gives you really a beautiful ice mold. Like this, really easy to make. Pot this in the freezer. Once again, keep on replenishing them. Fill your trays with them so you have a nice stock supply of them. And then finally, I'm going to show you how we make a big block of ice so that you can carve and make your own ice cubes according to the size of your cocktail. To keep my ice organized, because I like different shapes of ice for different drinks, I keep them in these shoe boxes. These are brand new ones, obviously. I found them at the container store. But for instance, all my squares with the fruit inside are all inside of here. All the clear is on top. I've got clear with fruit. So if you want to make beautiful crystal clear ice, it's best to use one of these coolers because you want to use the ice that freezes from the top to the bottom. So in this particular instance, this has been in the freezer for 24 hours. And as the ice freezes, you can see it forces the impurities to go to the bottom. So it's just this top layer of ice that we're looking for. So I'm going to take the ice now. I'm going to gently invert this and then turn it upside down and out comes a huge block of ice it's exactly what I'm looking for look how clear that is it's crystal clear ice because I'm using the piece of ice that was at the top and it's frozen from the top going down if I'm drinking a tequila such as a fine one like Casa Dragones my favorite sipping tequila I like the idea sometimes to have this with a bit of ice and I'll do that in a champagne flute and I find that the melt ratio for the tequila with these fingers is absolutely perfect. Now, if I'm having a big vodka, or I would like a vodka on the rocks or something. Also my favorite, I love Double Cross. It's uh, for me, it's the James Bond of vodkas. Uh, also, no better, better way than to enjoy a nice vodka on a huge, huge big ice cube like this, a sphere. And I'm gonna make something custom for the scotch. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm using a serrated knife so that I can create, I just want to create a seam in here and then I'm going to use this longer knife to help me cut it. Just taking a mallet, watch here. And bravo, there's a beautiful piece of crystal clear ice, look at that. Okay, from, so from now, from here, I'm able to create smaller pieces. Do that a quick. I'm going to cut a few more of these, and then I'm going to make them to the next size down. So just using the mallet, one firm shake, and there it is. There I have myself one beautiful cube. Look at that. How's that for a rock? Pop that in there. A little Donnie Walker Black. I know it's Friday somewhere. Thank you for watching this episode of Life As It Should Be. I'm Colin Cowie. Today it was all about diamonds in your cocktail. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.